All right, come on, Stinky. Tell me about the Impala. Uh, later, Jake. Kiki's back. Oh, you're right. Uh, welcome back, Kiki. Good to see you again, guys. Shall we get started? So many snakes, so little time. Mm -hmm. Here are some more of my cousins, common European adders. It may not look like it, but those are two snakes there, not one. Are these adders poisonous? Right. Like rattlesnakes, adders are members of the viper family of snakes, and all vipers are poisonous. Oh, look, those two snakes are dancing. Is that the karaoke or the macarena? That's not dancing, Stinky. That's fighting. That's fighting? They wrestle by twisting their bodies around each other to show off their strength. Well, why would two snakes fight? Most fights are between two male snakes who want to impress some cute female snake like me. Well, how long will this fight last? For several hours. But in the end, the bigger snake almost always wins. Now, Kiki, you've shown us a lot of pictures of snakes in the desert, but don't snakes live in other parts of the world, too? As a rattler, I prefer the desert, but a lot of snakes like living in the jungle or down by the water like this anaconda, one of the largest snakes in the world. Oh, look, he's wrestling an alligator. That's not an alligator. That's an animal called a caiman, and that anaconda isn't wrestling it. He's smothering it. Couldn't he just bite it with his poison fangs? Anacondas aren't poisonous, and neither is this fellow, the emerald tree boa. In fact, no boas are poisonous. They survive by being incredibly strong. I didn't know snakes lived in trees. This snake obviously does. And so does this rainbow boa. Snakes like these have powerful prehensile tails, which means that this snake's tail can grab and hold tight to the tree branch. So, Kiki, you're saying that some snakes use venom and some use strength to overpower their prey. That's right, Jake. But all snakes use stealth. Oh, well, what's stealth? Stealth just means we sneak up on our prey. This Madagascar boa may be large, but he's hidden so well in the vines and plants that the animal he attacks will never see him coming. Hmm, he certainly doesn't make a lot of noise. Yeah, no pitter-patter of little feet. Exactly. We slither in, which makes us stealthy, sneaky, and hard to stop. And being the same color as that tree doesn't hurt either. What kind of snake is that? A green tree viper. Any place else, a snake like this, or like this vine snake, would stand right out. But in the jungle, they blend right in. He looks like a vine. That's the idea. And this vine snake will stay like that, totally still, until some unsuspecting prey comes along. Then, zap, the snake wins again. Well, Kiki. Thanks again for telling us all about snakes. Oh, that was a great pleasure, boys. Thanks, Kiki. And now I want to ask you something, um, uh, privately. Uh, Kiki, do you think you could do it? All right, I'll try it. Uh, you try what? Uh, later. <laughs> right now, I'm going to sing a song. <clears throat> uh, try what? Oh, <laughs> later, later. Right now, here is Kiki the Rattlesnake singing, I feel like eating something big. Hmm. I feel like eating something big. Impala or a pig. I need a little something. So bring up the applause When like a set of doors I open up my jaws So wide I'm so hungry I could eat A large amount of meat And that would be a treat For sure And when I've had my fill and I won't decide until Then still I may come back for more I never get the bellyache However much I munch It's only food for goodness sake Which reminds me, I need lunch I feel like eating something tall Nothing very small a skunk would be no use at all. I feel like eating something big, impala or a pig, a polar bear. I wouldn't dig at all. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> well, great song, Kiki. Now, what was that part about a polar bear? Oh, uh, nothing, Jake. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for... Animal Awards! Today we're going to find out which is the longest snake in the world! Fine. Just as long as it's the snake that doesn't eat chicken hawks. Oh. Is the longest snake... The desert viper... The reticulated python... Or the tree boa... And the longest snake is the reticulated python. This python lives in Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and the Philippines and can grow to be more than 20 feet long. Ooh. The reticulated python, winner of today's animal award. Yeah, but does it eat chicken hawks? Oh, probably. <laughs> Stinky, I still want to know what you and Kiki have cooked up. Oh, don't worry, Jake. There'll be no cooking involved. Good. I think. Aren't you going to read a story? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, once upon a time, there was an India cobra named Chandra. One day, Chandra was coiled up in the sun, minding her own business, when she heard a noise and smelled a smell and saw Jangles, the jungle cat. Want to play with me, said Jangles? But Chandra pretended she didn't understand the language of jungle cats. She said. Does that mean yes, asked Jangles? Replied Chandra again and lunged toward Jangles. You do want to play, said Jangles. Chandra said nothing as Jangles approached her. But then she said in perfect jungle cat language, go away. So Jangles did. And Jangles never tried to play with Chandra again, and they both lived happily Happy ever, ever after. after. The, the end. end. Wow, great story, Jake. Yeah. Now, do you want to know what I asked Kiki? Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know how that African rock python set a record by swallowing a whole 130-pound impala? Sure. Well, I want to break that record. But, Stinky, e even if Kiki swallowed you, you wouldn't break the record. You're not as heavy as a 130-pound Impala. <laughs> but you are. Uh, and now it's to... What? No, 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 st Stinky, let's not get carried away. Stinky? <laughs> stinky? Oh, well, I mean, chicky, chicky. Oh, I've been waiting all day for this. <laughs> it's habitat time. Uh, and no, no, sorry, Bunny, I'm, I'm not going. I've been waiting all day to eat my Chucky Hockey bar, and now is the time. But we're going to the rainforest. And I happen to know that there's snakes in the rainforest. My mother always told me it's better to eat a Chucky Hockey bar than to be eaten by a snake. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'll give you a Chucky Hockey bar for every snake we see. Deal? All right. Hey, some of them look like snakes. But they're not. But... Oh, look. Yeah, that's two snakes. No, it's right not there. Armstrong. No, huh? no, no. It's the tail feathers of the male quetzal. What? See? Huh. Those feathers attract the female. Well, I know that that's not a snake. No, it's an emerald toucan. Yeah. Hey, that's almost a snake. Hand over to Chucky Hockey. Come on. No way, Come on. Armstrong. That's a green iguana. And that's a spider. An orb spider. And that's an orange bug. Whatever. It's called a crab spider. Oh. Yes, a snake. <laughs> yeah, There's yeah, one. You're right, I get it. strong. Do, do. Yeah, it's <laughs> a green tree viper. <laughs> Blends in well with its surroundings, don't you think? Yes, and it's worth one chalky hockey bar, please. Oh, uh, look, look. There's a Malachite Swift lizard. Don't change the subject, Bunny. And there's a butterfly. <laughs> Bunny, whatever you do, do not give my chalky hockey bar to that spider monkey. Oh, uh, he probably wouldn't like it. Spider monkeys eat mostly leaves, fruit, and berries. And butterflies? No. But spider monkeys will supplement their diet with smaller animals. Well, I'd like to supplement my diet with the Chucky Hockey Bar to Joe me now, please. Come on now, give it no, to come me. come on, you Wait, gotta come out the door on. first. I, come on, I'm trying to hurry going up. Through the door. Out come the on. door, then you get the Chucky Hockey Bar. Now, one snake, ah, one ah, Chucky ah, Hockey Bar. There. Wait a minute. What? This was my Chucky Hockey Bar the whole time. I could have eaten it and not gone to the rainforest. Correct! Why, uh, you ought to do hey, me... here's the Chucky Hockey Bars you ordered, Bunny. Thank uh, you. Do I get a tip? Ch yeah, beat it. Chucky Hockey Bars? All for 
For you, Armstrong. <laughs> For Habitat Time, it's Bunny Bear. And Armstrong, the Chucky Hockey Chicken Hawk. And Lawrence. Just back from their rainforest. Over to you, Rhonda. Those are good. Hey. Oh, oh. Once again, I'm Rhonda Rat, Rodent Reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if this animal knows the answer. Ma'am. Yes? Can you tell me which of the following snakes makes this sound? Listen. Is it the python, the western diamondback rattlesnake, the garter snake, or the Montpelier snake? Your answer? I don't know which snake makes that sound, but I have a rather lovely voice myself. Want to hear? No. Trapdoor! Oh. Hey, I wanted to hear the rest of the song there. Watch it, you. I'm sorry, dear. And now the right answer. The snake that makes that sound is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. I'm Wanda Rat reporting on rattlesnakes. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. Hey, I got that all on video, pal. Thanks, Rhonda. Well, that's all we have time for today. But first, we want to thank our very special guest, Kiki the Rattlesnake. Thanks, Stinky. <laughs> Kiki is not only our guest, she's also the new world record holder as the first snake to ever swallow a 900-pound polar bear. Ah, isn't that right, Jake? Jake? Hey, are you in there? Hmm, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Jake? Uh, what wasn't a good uh, idea? Oh, just because uh, you were swa... Chalky bars, hey, has anybody seen my chalky hockey bars anywhere? Oh, they were your chalky hockey bars. They were delicious. Oh, well, until next time, keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. <laughs> you ate my chalky hockey bars? Sure, you have any more? Your cases are my